guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlene from The Brew Network, if you are new here. Today I figured I'd just go through all of my favorite Sephora beauty products. Their sale is coming up this Friday on April 9th for Rogue members, and then it continues on throughout the week for VIB members and um, what is it called, Beauty Insider members. So I'm just gonna go through all of my products that I genuinely love. I figured this would be helpful just to go through all of my like ride or die products and give you guys my honest opinion on all of them. I'm gonna start on hair care products. My first one that I'm obsessed with is Oribe. I think that Sephora just started carrying this brand this year or maybe last year and I didn't realize, but I feel like they never carry this Oribe brand whenever I looked for it online and I just searched it today and they have it online. So this is major. Now that they have it on Sephora, you should just stock up on like two bottles of this because it will be on sale. This is their texturizing spray and I really, really love it, especially now with short hair too. I feel like my hair is really, really slippy, especially the first day that I wash it. So if I add a little bit of this texturizing spray, it just gives it like that volume. So when you go to zhuzh it up, it doesn't fall right down immediately. This is great for if you need that extra texture, extra volume. It doesn't make your hair feel greasy at all like some of the other brands, but it smells really, really good too. And I love, love this product. And the second item I really like is this Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil. This is like a UV prep and prime for your hair. So when I get out of the shower and I know I'm gonna style it and I know that I'm gonna blow dry it, this is my go-to friend. I put it all throughout my hair and then I brush it out with a wet brush and then I blow dry my hair. It says it's a heat and UV protective primer. Um, I just feel like it makes my hair really silky. So this is also a ride or die. Another product that I really like is this Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. This is not a hair mask. This is something that you just put like on the ends of your hair for if you feel like it's a little bit dry. I actually tend to do this every single time I wash my hair and I dry it. You can put it on damp or dry hair, concentrating only on the ends because if you put it all throughout your hair, then your hair will get greasy. So whenever I have a hair washing day, I will put the primer on that I just talked about and then also literally like a pea size amount onto my hand, rub it together and then I'll put it on my ends and I feel like it'll just help like moisturize everything. I've heard Olaplex is really amazing for colored hair, but you can use this on regular hair too. And last but not least for hair is this Oribe, same brand as a texturizing spray. It's their Gold Lust Hair Oil. This one is amazing and it smells so good. It smells like the um, texturizing spray and I use this for after styling. I love this. I feel like whenever I style my hair, sometimes my ends feel really dry and I just really like putting like a really small amount on my hand, rub it together, and then put it at the end because I feel like it just like gives it that extra shine and condition to the ends of my hair. So I really, really like this. And I think you can add this on damp hair and you can add it on dry hair after you've styled it for extra like luster. Okay, and now moving on to skincare. There are a lot of products that I really, really like. Um, the first one is this Pharmacy Beauty Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is the one product that I am obsessed with. If I had to pick one thing from their brand, it's definitely this. So I have um, frail, straight lashes. So the only way that I can keep them curled um, is by using waterproof mascara. And if you know anything about waterproof mascara, it is a bitch to remove. I used to use like cotton rounds with like the Neutrogena eye makeup remover. And I felt like I was just like constantly rubbing my eyes so much and I didn't want to get wrinkles underneath my eyes. So insert this stuff. This is a brand new one. I haven't used it yet. It comes with like a little spatula and this is just like the little protective thing, but it's like a balm. And I just keep this in my shower or you can just do it like before you shower, but you just scoop a little bit on your hand, you massage it and it turns into kind of like an oil-based cream. And then you just massage it all over your face and it takes off all of your makeup, all of your waterproof mascara. And then once you like massage it onto your face, you add just a tiny bit of water and it'll change from like a oily cream to like a white 
colored like paste on your face and then you just keep like massaging it and then you rinse it off and everything's gone. I really, really love this and I'm, I, this is like my ride or die product. It just removes all of my makeup and all of my mascara and it's a holy grail product. Since I'm on to pharmacy, I'll go into all of their products first. This is also really good. It's like a gentle gel cleanser, so nothing really crazy. But if you're looking for something really gentle, all their products are like non-toxic and their ingredients are really, really good. So um, this one is Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser and it just smells really good. This is from their Honey line and it just smells really, really fresh, like a fresh shower. So I love this for cleaning my face. It's just a simple gel cleanser that I love. And then for serums, these are the Drunk Elephant serums. I truly believe that these serums help remove the texture on my forehead. I remember when I was in a car, I looked at the mirror like from above and I was looking, I was like telling my mom, I was like, oh my God, why do I have so many bumps on my forehead? And it just looked really bad. Um, and then I realized that I had stopped using the serum. And when I started using the serum again, my forehead was so smooth. You couldn't even see the bumps anymore. It was crazy. So I told my sister about this. She used it, but she, her face is really, really sensitive. So her skin did not agree with this and it like really, really dried her out. So I would beware when you buy this. Um, if you have really, really sensitive skin, maybe don't try this or try it. And if you can't use it, then give it to a friend or like a sister or something. But it works for me and I really am obsessed with this. Um, but yeah, try at your own risk. For facial oils, um, I use two kinds. I actually first found out about Cora Organics. This is just like a facial oil and I use this as my last step in my skincare routine so that it seals everything together because if you put oil on before your moisturizer, then it just doesn't seep into your skin. Always use face oil as your last step. Another alternative is this pharmacy honey grail and it's an ultra hydrating face oil. I would say this is for people with like really dry skin because it is really thick in consistency and it makes you look like a dewy dumpling. Um, so only use this at night when you don't care that you will look oily and glossy. And the last pharmacy beauty is this Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. It smells like cherries, but I just love this one because I feel like it's really moisturizing for under my eye and it just helps to brighten up the under eye. Always put eye cream on. I used to be so lazy about this because it's like an extra step, but I think it will help with your under eye circles when you get older. Okay, and then the last product that I love is this Biosan Squalane and Glycolic Renewal Facial. I like to use this just to kind of like exfoliate and refine my skin. So it says it exfoliates, refines, and boosts radiant. And I use this, well, I try to use this. I always forget to do like my facial steps every week, but um, you could do this like once a week and then go in with your regular skincare routine. But it does also come with like a little spoolie and it's kind of like, a, it has like a exfoliating um, texture. So it's not like a smooth mask, but it has like little bumps in it to exfoliate your skin. And I really, really like this. And it kind of tingles when you put it on, but I like when that happens because then I know that it's working. On to makeup. I have a lot of makeup to go over. I have like a whole basket here right in front of me. I'm going to go through. Um, the first thing is a uh, primer. So I actually recently started using this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. It's a vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigment. And this is great. Um, I like this a lot. I feel like it gives you like that good dewy base for underneath your foundation. I like this one, but I had this old tube of NARS that I just abandoned for absolutely no reason. And I haven't used this in probably over a year. And I just picked it up well, I picked it up from like the back of and like underneath my makeup basket and I am obsessed with this. I don't know why I stopped using this. This is their Radiance Primer. So if I were to choose between the two of these, definitely get the NARS. One, because I feel like it's more dewy than this guy. And two, it has um, 
sunscreen in it, which is the thing that I feel like makes it extra dewy. And I am obsessed. This would be great for if you don't want to wear any makeup on your face, but you want to put something on it. I feel like it just adds like an extra dewy look to your makeup and it has sunscreen in it. So it's kind of like a two in one because always wear sunscreen. I'm pretty bad at this too, but sometimes you forget that even, I think I actually saw like a TikTok somewhere that you can get UV rays into your skin, even if you're sitting inside. I don't know if that's true, but if that is true, this is your friend. Always use UV um, SPF sunscreen for your face. So this one is my holy grail. Love this one, but I would pick this one. So on to face. I have some foundations that I like, but actually the Dior Nude Air is discontinued, I think. So I'm gonna have to try another one. I'll review that when I get it another time. So I'm just gonna go into like random face stuff that I really like. This Kevin O'Quan foundation balm. Um, I talk about this on my makeup routine tutorial video and it's basically, well it is a foundation balm that I just bought in a darker color. So I use it as um, like a cream bronzer and it's pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, you can probably do this with anything, but I like this brand because I feel like it goes on really seamlessly and it gives you like the perfect glow. So you just kind of have to figure out like what color you are. And then another product that I love is this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder um, for under eyes. I use this to set my concealer. I always have to set my concealer because if I don't, I find that I get like creasing underneath my eyes and also my mascara and eyeliner kind of like gets on the bottom of my um, under eye. So this is a great one, it truly does brighten your eyes I, f I have it on right now and you can kind of see that it's like a little bit more white but it doesn't leave like a gross film underneath so i like this a lot um i just apply it with like a little fluffy brush and you just dust it on underneath and you're ready to go this bare minerals compact powder lives with me in my purse i love this one um it is not a translucent powder which i want to try next time this I use for like when I'm on the go and need to cover up some shiny areas like my forehead, nose, like around right here because I feel like I get oily throughout the day there. So I always like to have like a compact powder in my purse ready to go so I can just do like mini touch-ups here and there. And it comes with a little sponge underneath so it's perfect. I like this because it adds extra coverage for when I'm out and about. Moving on to cheeks, I have Two items that I'm obsessed with. One is this Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. It is actually insane, this product. And I feel like this product went viral on TikTok. I use the color Joy and I am obsessed with this because it is so pigmented. So you really don't need a lot. You only need one tiny little dot on each cheek, buff it out with a brush and you're good to go. I'm wearing it right now. It's just the best color i love using this during the summertime because it gives you like that really rosy look i put it on my cheek across my nose um and it's really really pretty i highly recommend this they have like a few shades so you can pick whatever shade suits you the best for a powder cheek i love patrick ta's blush this is in the color she's seductive um the color is really really pretty it's like a more toned down bronzy muted Color. I feel like it adds the best color to your cheeks if you don't want anything that is too pink and bright. And then for highlighter, I have been obsessed with this RMS Beauty Balm. It is so, so good. This is their Living Luminizer and it just gives you, I'm also wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting here. I'm just like nodding my head a little bit so you can see like the highlighter, but it just gives you a really natural dewy glow like as if you were to have like vaseline on your cheekbone if you know what that look is um but it, and it stays all day and it's not glittery which i love i feel like i don't like when my highlighter looks too glittery and you can see like chunks of glitter in there because it doesn't look natural anymore i like to put it on my cheekbone and then under my eyebrow so it kind of has like this um v effect around my eye and so like when you're in the sun or you're in an area with like a lot of light and you kind of like talk and like you move your head people can see like that beautiful highlight on your cheekbone and it looks so so natural i love 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 this 
product. It's so good. I think it's like the best cream highlighter that I've ever used. A random item that I feel like most people already know about is the Beauty Blender. Can't live without this. I actually bought a dupe of the Beauty Blender that actually Sephora sold and it's just not as good. I threw it away because it's not like as bouncy. This is amazing. I don't know what it is that is so different about other sponges, but this one just bounces on your skin so perfectly and it is so it's just the best. I use this strictly just for my under eye. People use it for foundation. There are different sizes. I think I have like one of the smaller sizes. So I take this and I wet it. I just run it down under my sink a little bit and wring it out. I'll apply my concealer straight to my eyes and then I will just dab on it. It just gives you like the perfect application of your cream concealer. And I feel like nothing looks as good as when i apply it with my beauty blender so this is a must have if you don't have it definitely use it for your under eye on to lips i am a huge lips gal i feel like i love 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 lipstick if i do a full face of makeup but i don't have any lipstick on i will feel very naked and i hate it um so i have a ton of lip products that i want to show you guys like I have two handfuls of. First up is this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. So I have it in a tube version and I also have it in a jar version that I keep at home. So the jar I like to keep at home um, for like nighttime because I feel like my hands are always clean so I don't mind putting that lip balm on with my hands when I'm at home. But for when you're on the go and out, especially now with like coronavirus and stuff and you have to sanitize your hands and it's just cleaner, this way to use it out of a um, tube like this the same product as the one in the jar but this is just like one that you can just throw in your purse I always have this Jacques always forgets his um, Burt's Bees uh, chapstick so I always give him this and he loves it a lip gloss that I really like is this Dior lip glow oil color revival cherry oil this is in the color rosewood this is so good this is like a really sheer um, lip oil, lip gloss type of thing. My favorite part about this product is how fat the brush is. So when you put it on your lips, it just feels so good. Let me put it on right now. It's just so good. I feel like it's a perfect gloss for over your lipstick. Like I have some lipstick on right now and I just put it over and it looks good. Another lip gloss that I like that is um, more pigmented. The, this one was a little bit more sheer. This one is more like creamy um, consistency and color. So it's not as sheer as the other one. This is more opaque and more like colored. This is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. And I'm using the color Free Spirit. It's a really pretty um, neutral, uh, pink color. I don't love like super bright pink on my lips. I kind of like brownish um, toned down light pinks on my on my lips. So this is perfect. Um, I tend to use this by itself when I don't have as much makeup. So like today I have a lot more makeup on. I use lipstick. If it's like a Sunday and I don't have a lot of eye makeup on or like face makeup on then I love using this because it adds like some color to it without um, looking like you have like a full lip of lipstick. This is my current lip routine. I have a Reels on my Instagram story showing you guys how I do it, but these are the three products that I use. I'm wearing it right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. This is the most beautiful liner. It matches to my lip color. It's not too pink, it's not too nude, it's not too brown, it's not too dark. This is perfect. Um, so I line my lips like I normally would. That is my favorite liner. And then I love this Patrick Tall lipstick. They give off like this matte finishing, like velvety finishing that you just can't describe it. It just looks so good. If you look at his Instagram, all of his celebrities and all of his models that he does makeup for, all their lips have this like specific Patrick Ta finish that I feel like I could spot if I were to look at a bunch of photos and I look at the lips, I know, okay, this is a Patrick Ta lip. I know it because the finishing is just so good. And so I, when I use this, 
and I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my God, it's a Patrick Ta lip. I now have that look. So this is the Oshi Single Lipstick and it's so pretty. It's like a perfect nude color. And I love that you can use it alone, but I like it when it's like a little bit more light in the center. So I dab a little bit of this Patrick Ta Sulky Lip Cream and she's unapologetic. This is a really light color, so I feel like it might not look good on everyone, but I just dab like the tiniest bit in the center of my lip and I just like mix them together and then it just creates like this beautiful lip color on me. So that is like pretty much my holy grail lip trio. And last but not least are perfumes. I usually, I have a weird thing about sharing my perfumes because I feel like it's like your personal scent and it's intimate, but since I love these scents so much, I need to spread and share the love. So I'm gonna share my perfume and they're these two. So fun fact about me, I am horrible at looking for perfumes. I feel like I don't know what I'm looking for. Sometimes when I'm smelling at the store, I think it's like just too strong, but like in reality, it actually smells good once you spritz it on yourself. So. My mom and my sister actually always pick out perfumes for me. And by that, I mean they pick out perfumes for themselves and then they tell me about it and then I try it and I love it. So that's pretty much what it is. Um, so basically, if you meet me and my mom and my sister, we probably all smell the same or use the same perfume. So these are my two holy grails. Um, I have a bunch of other ones, but I'm not gonna share because I feel like these two are like my current favorite right now. This YSL one is, this is the YSL Libre, I think. This one smells so good. It smells like, it just smells rich. And I like using this in, this in the winter time because it is a little bit stronger and more like heavy, but mm, it smells so good. And I feel like whenever I smell this, it just brings me back to a specific memory, a specific time in my life. And it smells so good. I love this. This next one, uh, I am obsessed. It's the Chloe Nomad. And this one, oh, it smells so good. This also brings me back to when we were in like Florida last year. Um, I love using this in warmer weather areas or just in the summertime because I feel like it's like pretty light and really fresh, like fresh shower feeling. Like I love this. So these are my two holy grail perfumes. That is everything that I would recommend from the Sephora sale. I basically just pulled out all of the stuff that I love and I felt like this would be really helpful to just go through and show you all the products that I love so that you are prepared for the Sephora and drop some money because honestly who doesn't love a good Sephora sale. But I hope this is super helpful and I can't wait to see what you guys all buy. So let me know down below if you guys like this video um, and give it a thumbs up. Bye guys.